uh, that we cannot see all that far anyway. Uh, <laughs> and therefore, what we can see in our small part of uh, whatever the universe is shows electric currents flowing in and out of this uh, small region of whatever the universe happens to be. And beyond that, we are ignorant. We cannot say. So this is what I say. We really need to be a little more or show a little more humility in uh, our understanding and uh, be more questioning. You know, yes. Instead of trying to conjure up the latest science fiction story to make uh, uh, the headlines and grab more funding, yeah. just show a little more humility. And I think this would actually help in getting students back into science. Right now, they're just staying away by the truckload hmm. they, uh, because it's boring. You know, they're, yeah, yeah. they're told that you need to know uh, esoteric mathematics. You have to be a mathematical genius and that uh, uh, most of the work's done anyway. All you have to do is just solve a few puzzles here and there and uh, we'll have it all uh, <laughs> we'll have it all on the t-shirt <laughs> next week <laughs> which is just nonsense you know of course and we it, it's a, but it's a recurring theme we don't learn from history that's our big problem if we were to look at the history of uh, science we would find that uh, it was rather like arthur kersler put it in his uh, book uh, the sleepwalkers and more like people crashing into things in the dark Kostler <laughs> <laughs> uh, is a is a magnificent uh, author, by the way. Absolutely. Um, yes. If we uh, if we round things up here for the for the first segment, and we'd love to continue talking more with you if you do have the the time for us all. Um, th there is one thing I'd like to ask you uh, before we do that, though. Uh, in terms of signal transfer, you, you men mentioned this instantaneous communication possibly mm -hmm. going on then between bodies and so forth and if it if indeed is a signal of and if that signal is um electric in its origin if we can put it that way th there's yes. i guess two questions that, that come up in relation to that one is this that people talk about when the term free energy they talk about zero point or tapping into the the field mm -hmm. and in that sense that's what i'm reading into this as well that the, this is about this instant communication and w do you think that it would be possible for us in one way to tap into the signal transfer in order to actually read the signal communication that is going on uh, in the universe, if you, if you will. I uh, don't know if that's a, too much of an esoteric area to get into, but give us your take no. on that, Walt. No, I think uh, it is possible. It's a, a longitudinal signal. It's the kind of thing that uh, Tesla was playing with. Um, and uh, I think that uh, it is the only way, really, to communicate uh, beyond the Earth. Uh, <clears throat> because otherwise electromagnetic signaling is far too slow. Mm. Um, also, it is the only form of signaling that isn't shielded by uh, plasma uh, sheaths and double layers in space. Uh, and this gets down to questions about why haven't we been able to hear from ET, you know, the SETI yes. project. Yes. And I can, I can tell you why, <laughs> if we're using the wrong signaling technique. They would never use that if they're advanced, uh, you know, <laughs> in that sense. Of course. Yeah. yeah, this is once again is another bit of hubris on the part of scientists today, thinking that uh, our um, puny understanding of the universe is enough to be able to uh, pontificate about where we will find life and how it would uh, communicate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot to learn. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, wh what do you say, Wal? Do you have uh, more time for us? Are you up for doing an, another segment with us? Uh, yes, I think we can uh, soldier on. <laughs> okay, absolutely. We have so many more questions I want to ask you, but please then, for to a way of rounding up here, the first segment for us. Mention your website, mention uh, the book and, and the DVD that you guys have out there as well so people know where to go to read more and, and see and hear more from uh, the perspective of the electric universe. Yes, uh, my website on holoscience.com, that's H-O-L-O, -O, the idea being that the uh, science is more holistic and interdisciplinary. <clears throat> so holoscience.com will get to my website. Uh, my colleagues uh, have the thunderbolts.info website, and they also have the resources and forums for you to join if you're interested, and uh, a lot of activity. Uh, in fact, they have a picture of the day uh, on that website uh, every day of the working week, and uh, it's quite an outstanding uh, effort on the part of uh, volunteers. 
the uh, books and the DVDs and everything uh, you'll find on that website. Alrighty, again, there you go. Uh, very, very good uh, websites and, and links for you guys. Uh, Thunderbolts.info and then Wall's personal or his own website, holoscience.com. Definitely go over there and check it out. Uh, but do join us here in the next uh, segment here then for Red Ice members uh, coming up. Very interesting stuff indeed. Uh, stay with us, Wolf. Thank you so much for this uh, first segment.